It's Joe from OnePageZen.com, and this tutorial I'm going to show you how to configure custom email addresses for your website on Google Cloud Platform. So the first step is we're going to head on over to Zoho.com, and we're going to go to the sign up page, and we're going to create a Zoho account. Now Zoho is an email client that we can use to configure our uh, custom email addresses for our domain name. So enter your email, password, and then click the sign up for free button. And I'm going to choose the free option, of course. So I'm going to click that. And then I'm going to uh, enter the domain name for my website. So I'm going to use onepagezen.com. Now use this, uh, you should use the domain name uh, that you're using for your Google Cloud Platform website. So enter your own domain name here. Click continue. All right, so now in this step, we have to verify the ownership of our domain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, choose others here from the drop down menu. And I'm going to use the TXT method. So I'm going to click that. And I'm going to uh, copy this text in the value slash points to slash destination field. I'm going to copy this. Next, I'm going to go back to my Google Cloud Platform dashboard. So go to cloud.google.com, uh, log into your account, and go to your dashboard. Next, click the hamburger menu in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Go to networking. And then we're going to go to our cloud DNS. All right, now here I have my DNS for onepagezen.com. So I'm gonna click that. And I'm going to uh, add a record set here. I'm gonna leave the DNS name field blank. I'm gonna change the TTL to one minute. And I'm going to change this to a TXT record type. And then I'm gonna paste uh, this right here, what I copied, I'm going to paste that into this text data field and I'm going to click create. Perfect. Now I'm going to go back to Zoho and I'm going to click proceed to TXT verification. Now notice here how the TTL in seconds, this is how long it will take for the changes to take effect. So you have to wait uh, at least 60 seconds for, before you can proceed to the TXT uh, verification. So after 60 seconds has passed, you can click on the TXT verification button. Okay, now it's saying the TXT records of the domain onepagezen.com are perfect. And then click verify now. All right, now I'm going to enter a username. So I'm just going to put user at onepagezen.com and I'm going to click the create account button here. All right, now here's your chance to add some users. Um, these are all the different email addresses you want to configure. So if I wanted to configure, say, Joe at OnePageZen.com, in addition to user at OnePageZen.com, you could click uh, Proceed to Add Users here. But in this case, I'm going to forego this step, and I'm going to click the Skip button here. All right, now the next thing you can do here is you can create groups if you want to. So you'd click the Proceed to Create Groups button. But for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to click the Next button. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to configure our MX records. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, copy this. I'm going to go back to uh, my Google Cloud Platform DNS, and I'm going to add a record set. And this is going to be a MX record. And I'm going to do one minute here. And I'm going to paste that. And actually, I'm going to bring this 10 to the front and add a space. So it says 10 space mx.zoho.com. I'm going to go back. And I'm going to copy this one here, this second one. And I'm going to click Add Item. And I'm going to paste that. I'm going to paste it up front, just like in the first one. And your MX records should look just like this. And I'm going to click Create. All right, so now let's go back. All right, so now that you've configured your MX records, you can check to see if it was successful uh, by clicking this MX Lookup button. And you see here, it says the following are the MX records available for your domain. And you can see that you get the green check mark, which means that both of them are working. So click OK and then go to Next. All right, so the first thing we're going to configure here is our SPF. So we're going to copy this text value here and go back to our Cloud DNS, click on our site. Um, go to our uh, text records. So click the uh, pencil icon. And we're going to add item and put a uh, quotation mark and another quotation mark. And click Save. OK, perfect. Now we're going to go back. So the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to configure DKIM. So scroll down a bit and click the Proceed to Configure DKIM button. All right, and here's our domain. So we're going to click the pencil icon to edit. And we're going to click Add Selector. And for selector name, I'm just going to put K1. Just put something short and simple. And I'm going to copy this second part here. And I'm going to go back to my Cloud DNS, and I'm going to add a record set. And I'm going to paste that, and then I'm going to enter the, use, the, the name, which is K1, just like it's shown here. So I'm basically pasting this part into the DNS name. For record type, it's, it's a text record, TTL, it's going to be one minute. And for text data, we're going to copy all of this. And we're going to paste it. And we're going to put uh, quotation marks around it. And we're going to click Create. OK, so that's been created. Now let's go back to our control panel here. And we're going to click the Verify button. And once you click the Verify button, it should show a little message right here that says that it's been verified successfully. If not, uh, you have to fix the problem. If it's been uh, configured successfully, the Verify button will disappear, and you can click Back to Setup. All right, uh, we're not going to set up email migration in this tutorial. And we're not going to set up um, mail client configuration either, or mobile access, so you can just skip that. And there we go. It says, great, your basic setup is complete. You can click Go to Zoho Workplace. And then we're going to click on the mail icon. And now it's loading my email address.
All right, so now that your mail has been configured, uh, you can access this email by going to mail.zoho.com and then logging in. And now you will be able to receive emails and send emails uh, from your domain name's email address. Uh, this can also be integrated with Gmail, which I will do in another tutorial. Uh, that way you can get all of your emails in one place. Uh, anyways, that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment in the box below. And uh, please subscribe to this channel for uh, future WordPress uh, Google Cloud tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching.